main page of the app which has a entry field for the user to type in and a button to find weather and a button to look at all the favorite cities of the user so for example when i type in here um, brampton and i click on find weather it navigates me to this page which is um, the cities page and the first main page was main page and then the city page has the city's name the icon uh, of the weather temperature uh, weather its description what the feels like temperature is minimum temperature maximum temperature and the humidity and if i click on add favorite it's it will show me a dis um, alert that uh, the city brampton has been added to your favorite cities and when i click ok it navigates me back to the main page where the entry field becomes um, empty again for me to type in for more cities uh, when i click on favorite cities it navigates me to the uh, favorite cities page where uh, this mississauga was here before because it's persistent storage so it was here from before and then the brampton is added um, currently like it has just been added and if i want to for example delete mississauga i can cl click this and then delete and then it will delete mississauga if i go back and check again mississauga is deleted if i want to update the um, name i can update the city name here as well for example if i want to update it to ito Biko, and then click ok or if i click cancel it's gonna stay brampton and if i click to be coke if i write and then click ok it's gonna uh, it is going to show it to if i close this app and start again then it should be here from before and then if i start it again it will show Itopico in my favorite cities okay so here um, here I have my networking manager which talks to the API connects to the API and then uh, gives returns a list of weather data list of uh, weather data which is stored um, here uh, ID the main, main description and icon are uh, icon are stored in the weather data and then there is a main data class as well which stores the temperature feels like minimum temperature maximum pressure and humidity um, and then I can get the weather data and then the main data as well I can get uh, through asynchronous functions and then when I um, uh, for my favorite cities database manager um, I have this create table function which creates uh, favorite city uh, data and it returns it as an observable collection all favorite cities as an observable collection of favorite cities data and then I can insert new city I can delete any city and then I can update any city as well and then this is the model of the favorite cities data it is a uh, it is it implements the i notify property changed um, and then it has a, pro a member variable name um, uh, weather temperature and icon and this is what is shown in the favorite cities um, xaml page so yeah and this is the uh, code behind for cities page um, um, on appearing uh, the weather data is fetched um, and then the all the labels and everything are populated and then when add to favorite uh, button is clicked on the cities page uh, then a new object favorite cities is uh, created and all the properties are set uh, and then this uh, new object is added to the favorite cities list observable collection and uh, as well as inserted into the database model and then a, a display alert is shown uh, that the uh, city has been added and then it pops the this page and navigates back to the main page similarly in the favorite cities uh, page 
there is an option for uh, deleting the favorite city from the database and updating the favorite city from the database when update is clicked then uh, the new page that is shown that is uh, made through code uh, code behind and not through uh, like the xaml user interface and this is made in favorite cities manager here the uh, page is made um, uh, the label for updates the main title updates it is uh, city details and the uh, text field for entering new name and this is the text field and then the button ok with a uh, background color green button and what the event handler for the button uh, that when ok is clicked then the the the, the city is saved like the city's name is saved and then uh, the page is popped and then there's the cancel button as well which just simply cancels the uh, the like it doesn't save anything it just navigates back to the previous page and then um, this is the layout for and the the settings for the layout and then the children are added to this layout the children title message uh, the input uh, text and the buttons as well and then um, this is returned the page is pushed and it is returned okay mm.